Welcome to Manchester United News Channel, your daily source for exclusive updates on the club. Subscribe now and stay one step ahead with the latest information about Manchester United. Don't waste any time, click the subscribe button and stay updated on everything happening with our club. Let's get to the news. Bruno Fernandes faced a significant setback during Manchester United's 3-0 defeat to Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday, as he received a straight red card just before half-time. This unfortunate incident marked the first time Fernandes had been sent off in his career with the club, and it is anticipated that he will miss the upcoming match against Aston Villa due to this dismissal. The repercussions of this decision could add further strain on manager Eric Ten Hag, who is already navigating a challenging season. Dermot Gallagher, a former Premier League referee, has publicly questioned the validity of the decision to send off Fernandes. He believes that the match officials may have misjudged the incident. During a segment on Sky Sports Ref Watch, Gallagher expressed his concerns, emphasizing that the referee, Chris Kavanagh, might not have had a clear view of the challenge when he issued the red card. He suggested that the position of the referee at the moment of the foul could have impacted his ability to accurately assess the situation. In the incident in question, Fernandez appeared to lose his footing while attempting to keep up with Spurs midfielder James Madison. As Fernandez slipped, he inadvertently caught Madison with his foot as the latter fell to the ground. Gallagher pointed out that while the referee acted swiftly, the assistant referee, who flagged the incident, likely had a different perspective that contributed to the decision to issue a red card. Gallagher remarked, that's my first point, highlighting the importance of the referee's line of sight during such critical moments. Gallagher further elaborated on the assistant referee's perspective, noting that from his angle, it would be easy to interpret Fernandez's challenge as high and dangerous. However, when viewed in slow motion, it became apparent that the contact was not as severe as initially perceived. It's a glancing blow, he explained, suggesting that the referee's initial interpretation was clouded by the way the incident unfolded. In Gallagher's view, a yellow card would have been a more appropriate decision, considering the circumstances. Turning to the role of VAR in this scenario, Gallagher acknowledged the complexity of the situation. He remarked, I can't answer it because they talk about the threshold, indicating that the parameters for intervention by VAR might have contributed to the confusion surrounding the red card. He speculated that if the referee had conferred with the assistant referee during a pause in play, they might have reached a consensus that would lead to a different outcome. Gallagher also noted that public perception during the match suggested that the assistant referee had minimal influence on the decision. He commented on the general sentiment that Kavanagh was too hasty in displaying the red card, asserting that the referee had been misled by the assistant's angle on the play. He stressed that a more comprehensive review of the incident could have resulted in a different decision altogether. Ultimately, Gallagher concluded that the assistant referee's angle could have created an optical illusion that misrepresented the nature of Fernandez's challenge. He stated, from that angle, he will say that his foot looked high, but he can't see his point of contact, reinforcing the idea that a closer examination of the play could have clarified the situation. He acknowledged that while the referee may have struggled to see the play clearly, the assistant's interpretation ultimately influenced the decision that resulted in Fernandez's dismissal. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all the exclusive news about Manchester United. Don't miss any detail about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Manchester United fans. In the bustling world of football transfers, whispers of Phil Foden's potential move to Manchester United are igniting fervour among fans and pundits alike. With the English midfielder's stellar performances for Manchester City, including crucial goals in high-stakes matches and multiple accolades, United's interest comes as no surprise. The prospect of Foden, a player synonymous with youth and brilliance, donning the iconic red jersey sends shockwaves through the Premier League, raising questions about how this dynamic playmaker could transform Eric Ten Hag's squad. Foden, who emerged as a prodigious talent with his remarkable performances in youth competitions, has since established himself as one of the premier talents in world football. With over 200 appearances and a trophy cabinet filled with 15 honours, including a historic continental treble, his skill set is tantalising for any club looking to bolster its midfield. Known for his vision, creativity, a knack for finding the back of the net, Foden's ability to unlock defences could provide United with the attacking flair it has desperately needed in recent seasons. 
recent reports suggest that United's management is keen on adding a player of Foden's caliber to complement their existing stars. As City navigate their own ambitions for glory, the prospect of losing such a key player could be unsettling for Pep Guardiola. Yet, the allure of a fresh challenge at United, coupled with the opportunity to become the face of a new era, might prove irresistible for Foden, who has often expressed admiration for the club's rich history and passionate fan base. Moreover, Foden's age and pedigree mean he represents not just a short-term solution, but a long-term investment. His ability to adapt to various roles, be it as a central playmaker or a wide attacker, offers United a versatile weapon in their arsenal. Eric Ten Hag's tactical philosophy, which emphasizes fluidity and pressing, aligns perfectly with Foden's skill set. The synergy between the two could herald a new chapter for United, one that challenges the dominance of their city rivals. Phil Foden's brilliance on the pitch is marked by a rare combination of technical skill, vision, and composure under pressure. His ability to seamlessly navigate tight spaces and create opportunities for his teammates sets him apart from many of his peers. Foden possesses an innate understanding of the game, allowing him to read situations and make split-second decisions that often lead to scoring chances. This intelligence, combined with his dribbling prowess and precise passing, makes him a valuable asset for any team looking to enhance its attacking capabilities. Moreover, Foden's versatility adds significant value to his profile. Capable of playing various roles in the midfield and attack, he can seamlessly shift between being a creative playmaker and a direct goal threat. This adaptability aligns perfectly with Eric Ten Hag's tactical approach, which emphasizes fluidity and requires players to interchange positions frequently. Foden's knack for finding space and exploiting defensive weaknesses will be crucial in breaking down stubborn defenses, a challenge that has plagued United in recent seasons. Eric Ten Hag's endorsement of Foden as a key target reflects the manager's vision for the future of Manchester United. Known for his tactical acumen and emphasis on youth development, Ten Hag recognizes the potential Foden possesses to elevate the team's performance. The Dutch coach aims to build a squad that not only competes for titles but also plays an attractive brand of football, and Foden embodies this philosophy. His experience in high-pressure situations, including crucial matches in the Premier League and Champions League, would undoubtedly bolster United's ambitions. Foden's connection with the fans and his commitment to the club's ethos would further strengthen his candidacy as a transformative signing for United. His background as a homegrown talent mirrors the club's legacy of promoting youth and nurturing local players. By securing Foden, Manchester United would not only gain a top-tier footballer but also a player who embodies the spirit of the club, making him a fan favourite. As the transfer window unfolds, Foden's arrival could signal a new dawn for United, marking the beginning of a thrilling journey towards reclaiming their status as one of the elite clubs in football. As the transfer window looms, all eyes are on Old Trafford to see if this potential signing materialises. A move for Phil Foden could signify United's determination to return to the summit of English football. The prospect of witnessing the young Englishman in action wearing the famous red shirt is enough to excite any football fan. With the stakes higher than ever, this transfer saga promises to captivate audiences and could very well redefine the landscape of Premier League football for years to come. Hey there, supporter! Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Manchester United. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.